There are two main ways to interact with a smartphone. The first, and most intuitive, in my opinion, are the buttons on the side of the phone. Typically, you'll have a small power button here that if you press and hold, can be used to turn the phone on or off. And if you just press it lightly and release, you'll see here, it'll turn the display of the phone on and off. Then you also have the volume button, typically located above it, that'll be a bit longer. And the bottom part, if you push down on the bottom part of this, it'll decrease your phone's volume. And if you push down on the top part, it'll increase the phone's volume. The second way to interact with your phone, which can be a little bit harder getting used to, is with touching. Now you notice here, if I press this to turn the display of my screen on, I can see I've got my lock screen here, and at the bottom, it says swipe to open. If I don't touch the screen, it'll turn off. <laughs> but if I then touch down and I swipe in any direction, I could swipe up, I could swipe to the left or the right or even down if I wanted. If I do this swipe and then I let go, then it will unlock the phone and take me to kind of the, the phone's desktop, if you will, where you can access all of the main functionality and make calls, use the camera, or open up an app. Now this interaction you saw me do was called the swipe. That's where you press down and you slide your finger across the screen. And this is a, a very common interaction you'll be doing. And it's good to think of this as kind of um, moving. All, all actions that you use this for are going to be movement uh, focused. Whether you're moving between screens or applications or moving some particular application to a different spot, you'll do this kind of swipe or this drag, if you will. And um, Another main interaction is the touch, where you simply touch and let go, sort of a tap almost. You could think of this as like clicking on your computer. If I do a little tap and release, you'll notice that it brings up this little phone application here. So notice if I keep doing that, it brings it up. And I could even, you know, same idea, type in numbers to start calling a number. One thing to be careful though, is if I press down and I don't release right away and I slide my finger around, I don't get that one, right? It doesn't enter it. That's because the phone is interpreting this as a swipe. If I don't release right away, so if, you notice if I release right away, I get my one. If I don't and I swipe around, <laughs> I don't get it. It interprets it as a swipe. So and now there's also back here to my main page here. There's also the third main interaction we can have is called a touch and hold. If I touch down on this and I hold it before letting go, you'll notice it brings up additional settings. I could remove this, I could go into settings and modify it or create a stack. Um, this you could think of as the right click on a phone. A long touch and hold opens up additional settings a quick little touch will open up the application or do some particular action. So I can go to my camera, I can go to the phone, or I could open up this little weather app. But if I do long holds, it lets me do different things. It brings up additional settings here. If I do a long hold here, it lets me do particular things that a phone could do. So sort of like a right click, it brings up additional tools. Those are the main uh, interactions that you'll be doing. Uh, finally, a bonus one is if I press and hold and I don't let go, I keep holding, I can then do this, do my swipe to drag things around. So if you didn't like where the weather was and you wanted to move it to a different spot, you do your long press and hold. Now, you notice there, I moved too, I moved too early. When you do that long press and hold, you want to press it for a pretty long time until it changes to this, and now I can drag it around. If I do it too early, which is easy to do if you're not careful, then you won't get that additional functionality. You have to do a long hold, then start moving. This can be a little tricky. You have to keep your finger pretty much perfectly still until it enters this, this dragging mode. 
but you don't have to worry about that too much, sort of a bonus feature. Main things are swiping, moving around, um, tapping to open something up, or long taps that give you additional functionality. And uh, I can go into additional things later, um, but that should handle the main navigation for the phone.